Food tonight, another major breaking story. History made in Tallahassee. Governor Rick Scott signs the gun and school safety bill into law. ABC Action News anchor Paul Legron is here with what this now means for Bay Area students and their families. Paul. Yeah, you could feel the emotion in Tallahassee today, guys, and now it's a done deal. This law, 105 pages of new rules, new strategies and new money, all designed to prevent another school shooting from ever happening again. Standing with the families of the victims of the Stoneman Douglas High School massacre, Governor Rick Scott today signing into law the gun control and school safety bill. I want to point out that this is a far different way of operating than the typical inefficiency we see from the federal government in Washington. Before signing the bill, the governor met privately with the parents of the teenagers who were shot and killed in their class by suspected gunman Nicholas Cruz. The gravity of today's historic moment even causing the normally stoic governor to be overcome with emotion. As Andy Pollock has said, we want him and all of these parents to be the last fathers and mothers to lose their children in a school shooting. The new law now raises the minimum age to buy rifles to 21. It sets a three-day waiting period for purchases. It bans bump stocks, and it now gives police more power to seize weapons from the mentally ill. I called on the legislature to give me a bill that will allow us to make our schools far safer. The bill, now law, also establishes major new guidelines for how schools deal with potential problem students, creating a new state agency that will now be in charge of school safety. It injects $6.2 million this year and an extra $500,000 every year for school mental health services. And it sets up a student crime watch program through which students can now anonymously report suspicious activities to authorities. And while the bill does arm some school teachers, something the governor did not want to do, the new Marshall program would only train school staff who are not full-time teachers. It also provides nearly $200 million to enhance physical security at schools and put a resource officer in every Florida school. And in a very personal nod to the families of the Stoneman Douglas victims, which this new law is named after, it also sets aside $1 million to construct a permanent memorial to those who lost their lives. And it gives more than $25 million to reconstruct the building where most of the shooting took place. Jameson.